Okay, let's talk about the scapulothoracic joints and specifically about the structure and actions of the scapulothoracic joint. All right, our two objectives. First, structure. We're going to identify the components of the scapulothoracic joint. And second, the actions. or will describe the movements of that scapulothoracic joint. So to start, let's take this image, which is a right scapulothoracic joint from a superior view, and look, look at its components. First, the scapula in orange, your shoulder blade, which articulates with the thoracic trunk, or better yet, your ribs and your rib cage, and the space between them forms the scapulothoracic joint. There we have it. Now, the scapulothoracic joint is a, a little bit unique because if we look at other uh, very movable synovial joints like your thumb, take a look at that. You know, your thumb's moving back and forth, and by that movement, um, we take a look at uh, where these bones meet, like there in your thumb, there's a synovial joint, and that's where it causes the movement and so forth. Two bones articulating together at a synovial joint. However, the scapulothoracic joint is a little unique because if we look at this cross-section from a superior view, the yellow space between the scapula and the ribs, that's actually fascia. So what moves the scapulothoracic joint is really just the scapula floating on the rib cage with some fascia in between them in this fashion. So let's now talk about the actions or the movements of the scapulothoracic joint. Let's take all these and put them into words, which, is, which were located here. And these six primary actions of the scapulothoracic joints are in pairs. First, we've got elevation and depression abduction and adduction, and upward and downward rotation. So let's take a look at the elevation depression first. Elevation has the scapula go up, depression has the scapula go down. You're happy you're up, depressed you're down. All right, so now let's take a look at this in surface anatomy. The scapula go up as I'm shrugging their shoulders like, I don't know the answer to the question. And they go down, you realize, whew, the teacher didn't call on me. Elevation, depression. All right, now let's look at abduction and adduction. So abduction means that the scapulae move, oh, blink, blink, those are the terms we're going over. Abduction means the scapula are moving away from the midline, as in the X-Files. Remember the X-Files? Mulder's like, oh, no, the aliens are coming. The aliens take Mulder, and they put him in the UFO, and the aliens abduct Mulder. Alien abduction, they take Mulder, and they take him away from the Earth. There's the X-Files, like all 12 seasons. Now here we've got the abduction of the scapula, which that yellow line's the midline. Abduction is abduction or movement of the scapula away from the midline. Adduction, you add to or you move the scapula towards the midline. Okay, in surface anatomy, there we have abduction, adduction. Abduction, adduction of the scapulae or the scapulothoracic joint. Now, what about these terms protraction and retraction? In this superior view of this joint on the right side, observe that when the scapula abducts, because it's on the rib cage, it moves not only away from the midline, but forward. It protracts. And then when you adduct, the scapula actually moves to uh, backwards along the rib, so it retracts. So you've got protraction, forward, away from the midline, retraction uh, towards the midline, and is moving backwards. All right, from a superior view. Now let's say you're going to go and punch someone like, Hicha! you abduct the uh, scapulothoracic joint where it protracts along the rib cage, or you go to shake someone's hand, and then you realize, I don't want to touch them, and you then bring your hand back, you adduct or you retract the scapula. Protraction, retraction. Protraction, retraction. Okay. Now, what about upward and downward rotation? So upward rotation, the scapula rotates up or the glenoid cavity rotates up. And downward rotation, the glenoid cavity rotates down. Upward rotation, downward rotation. This helps when especially doing motions when you raise your hands above your head. Okay, so let's take a look at this um, uh, picture. When you raise your hands above the head, that's upward rotation, downward rotation, they go back down. Okay. There we go. Now, what we just covered then is the structure of that scapulothoracic joint and the accompanying actions of that joint.